run away with that institution, God, or he's not ordained. And he should not be. So give me that. By a spirit name given to me by the Creator, the great spirit God. Something I was forbidden to have when I was a little boy, 25 years ago. I didn't get that name until I came home from Buddhism. Back in 1973, we made a commitment that we would stand up for the women and children. Put a stop to all the murderous place plantation that was going on in America. And we wanted to kill our wife. And what we believe in. So when I came home, I received an eagle feather. The first time over 100 years, I made a change. Because it wasn't my family. They told me there's a time in our history you couldn't even touch an eagle feather. Unless you had it in your name, that's no secret. Take it. So I was given this feather. The name I was given to the creator, the children, the human being, the grandfather, the great spirit, that come out of a book. Not named after no saint or poet, apostle, or anything like that. If you've gone the way you've gone, and it's thunder. The thunder before the storm. And I like that a lot better than Clyde Shelford. Because of course I knew the little boy 25 years ago by the church. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here and joining us tonight. We call it the National Council Church has turned this uh, indigenous people's day. I thought that was pretty nice for them. I thought that was pretty nice for them because I celebrate that every day of my life. Today is the National Day of Mourning. Today is the National Day of Mourning for most of us. If you look at the sign that I brought you tonight, this is what America was in 1941. And this is the United States Corporate America Today, 2011. 100, 120 million Indian people have been erased from the face of the earth since Columbus landed here. So we know a little bit about what you're, you're talking about, what you're doing, my relatives. And I want to thank the courageous young people who came from many walks of life to stand with other people, poor people, and people that are suffering all over this world. We know, we know what the 98% are. We know it's you. And we know we're part of that. We have the highest unemployment rates in the nation. 82% of the people on my home reservation are unemployed. Over 90% on Pine Ridge. To go across the country, one of the richest people in the world at one time, has been suffering for hundreds of years. But from this day forth, we're not going to allow that to happen anymore. So my brother and sister, my relatives, I want to take this opportunity to offer a prayer, as we always do today. To the four directions of the universe, to our sacred Mother Earth, and to the Creator, Tell me, Tiki Maitu, the Grandfather, Great Spirit. As we were taught from the day we were born, until we go back home, back at the Mother Earth, in that westerly direction, to be with our relatives and friends. We are taught that everything that you want, everything you want to do, you want to go pick the blueberries, go harvest the wild rice, go hunt the buffalo, plant a garden, plant the maple sugar tree. No matter what you do, you have to have a prayer. You have to have a ceremony for that. You ask the big Mother Earth, forgive us for taking this little we need, but that is sharing with everyone. That's the way it was. When we came home with our fish and our buffalo, we were directed, when I was a little boy, we were directed to go out and feed all the hungry. 
All the others, they had nobody to fish for them anymore, to hunt for them. We had to take care of them. And when we came back home, guess what we had? I could smell the wild rice and the fire bread, the venison and the deer meat cooking. I could hear singing on a drum. People were happy. Guess what we had? We had Thanksgiving. We didn't wait for Abraham Lincoln to declare the last Thursday of the month of November Thanksgiving. We had Thanksgiving every single day of the week. That's what's going to be from this day forward. And I want to thank my, my nephews and nieces here from the South. There's no bird. You're a bird. You're a one people. some tobacco by the tree there, as we were told to do. I, I thank the Creator for bringing this water to us tonight. I asked him to hold off a little while. I asked him to hold off a little while because we had some important business to do here, some important things to talk about. That's what I asked for. But I asked a blessing for this gathering here tonight. So with this, I'm going to offer this connect, connect. This pure, unadulterated tobacco has no carcinogens or poisons in it like the ones you are smoking today and killing yourself and your children and those unborn babies that hurt your belly when you're pulling that nicotine into your system. Now, for this pure tobacco, as we were directed to do, because when we smoke this pure tobacco in our sacred pipes, the tobacco doesn't go right directly to the Creator. It goes all around the world. For all the people, everything that we pray for, then it goes to the Creator. That's how beautiful it was before religion got here. That's how beautiful it was before religion got here, before those folks came over the water. In 1890, in 1890, they outlawed. They outlawed our ceremonies, our prayers, our language. We could not pray, we could not sing, we could not speak the language. And the churches joined with the government, they subsidized them just to create boarding schools all over America to strip our mothers of their language, their culture, and their tradition, and our fathers. They knew that was the most powerful, powerful weapon that we ever had, was our way of life. When the American Indian Movement formed in 1968, we we said, we're not going to allow that to happen any further. We're going to bring back those ceremonies. It took years. It took over 100 years to do that. We had to walk the length and breadth of America from San Francisco all the way to Washington, D.C. in 1978. Talking to unions, congressional people, city councils, ministerial societies, college students, our own people, our tribes and nations, we had to talk all the way across the country to educate them, finally embarrassing them so much that the United States Congress, those who came here seeking religious freedom, huh? They came here seeking, we embarrassed them so much, they passed the Indian Religious Freedom Act to allow us to pray again, to sing. They had these beautiful dances with all our whole family and my nation. Father signed that it belonged September 20th of 1978. And this is where we're at today. All the way from the Northwest Territory of Canada, all the way to the southern tip of South America. Our people are singing, they're dancing, they're having ceremony. We're coming together. And we'll never, ever allow what happened to us to happen again. And they're either, believe it or not. 
Believe it or not, you talk to all the elders and the old people, and they'll tell you flat out, as they told me. They talked about five generations of suffering. We moved from our homeland into urban areas like this. But on the fifth generation, they said a new people would stand, stand up. They said the drum would be heard again. The drum would be heard again. They come dressed in red. You people say that's the movement, the American Indian movement, of the Mexica. It's that drum that sounded again. They said that would happen. And it has happened. It's happening right before your very eyes. They said that people would join forces together. They would join forces together. Non-Indian people from all walks of life would come and join in that struggle. They would join in that movement. Not for them, not for you. Any of you adults here, this is not for you. This is for these children here. This is for your grandchildren. This is for your great-grandchildren. This is for your great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren. And to my non-Indian brothers and sisters, that door will be open for you too. We'll never turn you away. When Columbus landed here, he said, I found a people that had no use for the Bible. That's what he said. They are so generous, they'll give you the shirt right off their back if you ask them for it. He told the queen, they're perfect. They're perfect for exploitation. And this is what's happened. This is what's happened to us. Mama Shoma, get your mind to grandfather, great spirit. Mama Shoma, get your mind to grandfather, great spirit. Ground me this tobacco, grandfather, to the east. Will you send your son every morning, grandfather, to awaken all living things in his path, give life to all living things on earth. Grandfather, we pray for all the tribes and nations to the east of us that have no food tonight, have no shelter tonight, Grandfather, have no medicine to heal their wounds and sickness, nor even fresh green water to drink. We beg you, Grandfather, to take care of them. We ask nothing for ourselves tonight, Grandfather, because you've given us everything that we need. No, Ms. Jones, get your mind too, Grandfather, Great Spirit, we offer this tobacco to the south. When the warm winds come in the spring of life, helps all the snow and ice and gives light to all the sacred woods of Mother Earth and all living things. We ask nothing for ourselves, Grandfather, with all the tribes and nations to the south that have no food, no shelter, no medicine to heal their wounds and sickness, nor even fresh clean water to drink, to bless each and every one of them. No, Ms. Shelman, get your mind too, Grandfather. Great Spirit, we offer this tobacco to the west, to the homeland where we travel from east to west on this road of life, Grandfather. We pray to all of our great chiefs and all our great relatives, all the powers of our warrior societies that made sure that we would still be here today. We thank them, Grandfather. We ask a blessing for all the tribes and nations to the west of us have no food, have no shelter. Have no medicine to heal their wounds, sick nor even fresh clean water to drink. Grandfather, we ask you to bless each and every one of them. And to the north, we offer this tobacco, Grandfather. To the north, where the great white bear and the white buffalo dwell, those that take care of the medicine for the people. We ask you to continue to provide that medicine for all those that are suffering from the north. All the tribes and these have no food, no shelter. No medicine to heal their wounds or sickness or even fresh water to drink. Grandfather, we ask a blessing for them. And to you, Mother Earth, we thank you for all that you have given to us. All the food, the medicine, the most powerful medicine that goes through the rivers, creeks, and streams of your, of your Mother Earth. We ask you to continue to provide for all those indeed. We are prepared for all those that fly above us, Grandfather, our relatives. For those that crawl upon the earth, the four leggers that's in the forest and the woods, all the medicine life that survived for our survival, provides for our survival, all the food that flows from your breast and your belly, 
Mother, we thank you for all of you. And we say a special prayer, Mother, for all of our relatives across this water fighting in these dirty wars. Grandfather, we ask you to guide them home so we can walk hand in hand with them into the, into the future. And all our children, Grandfather, the hundreds and thousands through the welfare system, through the determinist rights of offended families that have been taken to our children that have been taken for us, our nephews and nieces, our grandchildren, scattered all over this earth, not even knowing from whence they come, Grandfather. We ask you to bring them back home to be with us so we can hang, walk hand in hand into the future. Those elders in the old age homes tonight that can't be with us, the handicapped grandfather, you are out for this special prayer for them. Oh, Mr. Oman, get your mind too. We ask a blessing for this gathering here tonight. This unity of one family, regardless of what color and tone their skin is, grandfather, we come together here as relatives today, as family today, to fight this corporate monster, this demon, grandfather. This demon, Grandfather, wants to devour all of us and our children and everything that we have. Grandfather, we ask for direction. We ask for your blessing here tonight. All my family, all my relations. Be good.
the curiosities that you feel, the courage that you walk away with or continue to build, the strength that you continue to feel, this is for you. This is for you. Yeah. It's not easy to think about what you want to say. You must feel it. And the concern that we have is that we will over-intellectualize and over-discuss and over-complicate all of this. And it's already beginning. So can we commit to our unity? and all those things and 
And there's all this talk about how uh, this is a, a lot of young white college kids out there. That's a lot of BS. Yeah. So what? So what? If you don't like it, get out here. Yeah! yeah. Welcome. Yeah. We can have a movement where everyone is welcome. We cannot have anyone speaking in a paternalistic way as if you know what's best for someone else. Yeah. So this process will be difficult, it will be long, it will be tiring, and we must stand united and embrace it. We must do it as long as it takes. We have been in resistance for a really long time. We've all been colonized. You have been colonized, and if you don't think you have, then come see me. I will show you how you have. <laughs> yeah. So we share colonization. It's happened to each and every one of us. So maybe today we can decide that we are done being colonized. No! We can call this the day of decolonization. Maybe we can re well, actually, we can't do this uh, and like say, like, oh, we're so cool. Because well, I think Boston, was it Boston? Boston already did it. Are we did it? But we've been talking about decolonization for a very long time, and it's time that every single person starts to realize that the decolonization belongs to everyone and not just one group of people. Yeah! As long as you, as long as each and every one of us contribute to this colonization, contribute to this system of corporate greed, and maybe that's what we're focused on right now, but there's so many other things that we need to be focused on. But we know that in this system, if we talk about immigrant rights, if we talk about workers' rights, if we talk about children's rights, if we talk about women's rights, if we talk about indigenous people's rights, if we talk about our Mother Earth's rights, people will start to say that movement does not belong to me. But if you want to claim 99%, my brother who is a voting Republican feels like he's a part of that 99%, but if you say it only represents those groups, you will leave him at home. So what is going to unite us? What will bring us together? Diversity. What will inspire and motivate us to defend that unity? And after we can do that, maybe we can figure out all those other things. Right now, people are asking the 99% to come together. It will be easy to fragment that and to not do it. That will be easy. But recently I read something and I can't get it out of my head and it says, it's better to suffer now for what you want than to live with regret. Yeah! So each and every one of us, welcome to the suffering. That's all I came to say. But I do need to acknowledge one more thing. I really need to acknowledge something. This is my sister Susanna. Susanna and I have not danced together in like 14, 15 years. <laughs> our political work, our lives, all these things that happen to our communities, to our family. No more will we be divided. Tonight. So I want to say thank you to my sister Susanna for coming here today and dancing, allowing us to dance with you. It is an honor. And this is a very important day for our community because this is the day you and I are sister and brother again. Over there.
Hospital, we're still um, doing this work. Gracias a las cuatro direcciones, al altar y a aquellos abuelos que caminaron este mismo camino que tenemos ahora y que sin ellos nosotros no podríamos caminar en este momento. El Señor. I want to thank uh, everyone who is dancing today because when they asked me to come and dance, I really um, knew that it was time for us to make a big difference. And I really hope that this is just the beginning for bigger and bigger and bigger circles of people who dance all still to come together. Queremos dar gracias a todos los que están aquí porque este círculo que hoy se, se reúne va a crecer y va a seguir creciendo porque somos espíritus que nos estamos encontrando. Dance is a union, conformidad y conquista. In the dance tradition, we say union, conformity and conquest. But it is not the conquest that we all have come to know. It is the conquest of each another in our hearts and in our ways to be with each other. Unity, conformity, not a conformity that is, you know, said about to you or that I just give up, but rather come to an agreement and respect that agreement. And in that agreement, then I can trust you because that brings trust. And once we have trust, then it doesn't matter what we do. If I trust Clyde, I am going to stand behind Clyde because I know he will not betray my trust. That's how I'm come together. So with that, comadrita, and that's just a concept. We're all together today, trusting each other. Maybe, you know, asking questions, but nevertheless, creating this energy for all of us to enjoy. Thank you. Um, thank you, Brian. And to get that one request for trusting that this is what we need to do together today. And again, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kids have been really good at this too. Huh? The kids have been really good in the dance too. barefoot too, some of them. Exactly. Some of them, yeah. Uh -huh, look at the little boy and look at the baby in the back. Good. <laughs>
bare feet. That was that was good. We just did that. So we will not speak no more. Thank you for being here and sharing with us and supporting all that is going on. And we are going to dance. And we ask you to stay as long as you want, as long as you can, as we will do that as well. And so I know that there is another uh, gathering. Is it the 15th? Is there a national action on the 15th? Yes or no? Yeah! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I would like to just dance. Omateo Kato Komate.